So what I'm going to do now is um, I need to change my cannula for my insulin pump. And my cannula sits in my tummy and it's attached to a tube, very nice long tube. Um, it's really long actually. And that is attached to my insulin pump. Obviously, like the tube is huge, so normally I just wrap it around. Um, my insulin pump is called Ian. Um, my Ian insulin pump. Um, because my consultant is called Ian, and he was the one that really pushed for me to get the insulin pump, and it's been one of the best things that I've ever had um, when it comes to diabetes. So, yes, I named my pump after my consultant, but he doesn't know that, so it's okay. Um, and my pump is with me 24-7, um, never leaves my side because it's constantly trickling small, tiny amounts of insulin into me. Um, so it either sits in my pocket of my jeans, or if I'm wearing leggings, sits in the waistband. Um, if I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, it just sits in the side of my bra. No one notices, um, no one really knows it's there. So anyway, I have to change my cannula every couple of days. So I'm going to do that now. Um, cannula comes in this little package and it comes with a few little bits and pieces it comes with a spare tube but I don't need to change my tube at the moment um, I've also got this little guy and um, this puts the cannula into my stomach um, I could do it myself but I'm not brilliant with needles and pushing a needle into my stomach I've been doing it for like 10, 11 years, it's quite nice to have a break from actually having to inject, um, especially when you don't like needles, you don't like seeing needles going into skin, and it makes me feel a bit, ooh, you know, I'm going to be a nurse, but, um, so I'm going to, I put my needle in with this, and basically all you do, you put your needle in inside, you pull it back, you um, take off the safety, Put it on your stomach, or your legs, or your arm, or your bum. I haven't had mine in my bum yet. Um, I haven't in put a needle in my bum yet. <laughs> oh, I'm going to carry on before I get all flustered and stop. And basically you push the button and it shoots it into your skin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now. I've taken mine out already, my old cannula. Put my new one in. So, there it is. Take off the bit of plastic that covers it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me move it there. There you go, big close up. Um, it's not that, obviously it's not that big. Um, it's really small and you can barely feel it going in. So, here is a needle with a cannula over the top of it. And the cannula is so fine, I can't even see it. But they both go in at the same time and once it's in, you pull the needle out and the cannula stays in. I'm going to do that now. Oh, before I forget, it's got little bits on it. Little, um, it's got a sticky plaster on it because obviously you don't want your cannula falling out, so you have to pull the little bits off the plaster. Okay. Please excuse my gut. I'm going to um, just do it in the side. So, safety is off. I don't know which position is best. And doesn't hurt at all. You just need to push down the button. That's in. Um, not really sure what this blue bit's for, but you squeeze it, pull it to the side, and it comes off. Um, and then this bit you take out. That's the needle. So, you take the needle out, chuck it in your sharp spin. You don't want to be poking people with it or yourself or, you know, suck it up with your hoover. And then, you take your pump. Ian. Probably can't see this bit, but I'm going to do it anyway. You clip in. Clip your tube on. You're good to go. So, wrap the pump up. Stick it in your pocket. Go and do your shopping. <laughs> Ice skating. Um, whatever you do and that's it um, thank you all for watching and um, I'll talk to you all soon